feel about this or if I want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I did a video about me being diagnosed and going for testing to see if I had ADHD. And for years, it has been so frustrating that I felt like nobody understood what I was going through. And it's, sometimes it's hard to explain because nobody will understand. Um, I won't say it's a nightmare, but it would cause me anxiety. Little things that I just couldn't do. Um, small tasks would be like climbing a mountain for me. And it, it's so frustrating. Then it would cause me anxiety because now I'm stressing out. Will I be able to accomplish X, Y, and Z? And then on top of that, my creative brain <laughs> doesn't help. And so I'm easily distracted. Um, I know someone witnessed it a couple of weeks ago and they had to keep telling me, Joy, did you do this? Go. I was like, oh. And they had to redirect me like I have to redirect some of my students at least three to four times. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you guys see a little bit of it in my videos. But it has been, it has been, it, ha it has been rough. It really has been rough and it has been a struggle for me. This is just my experience. And so I got the results back and, um, the results show and the, and the testing. So I went through extensive testing. It's just, I didn't go to the doctor and be like, oh, I, I have this issue. No, they did extensive testing on me that lasted three hours. And the results, I just got my, I had to wait a month and I just got my results back and I have ADHD, which I'm not surprised at all. So with my insurance, the insurance because if you're not 18, it doesn't make sense to me because I feel as though, for example, if you have high blood pressure, you have high blood pressure. If you have a heart valve defect, you have the heart valve defect. So that means that this stuff goes away when you're 18. So you see what I'm saying? So they said, well, my prescription, um, the my company is not going to pay for it because I'm over 18. That makes no sense to me. My doctor has to give um, pre-authorization um, for the company to pay for my prescription. So just to see, I got the generic um, prescription. So today is gonna be my first day taking um, medicine. So it's gonna be day one. Um, just to see, and I'm not gonna say what medicine it is. So just to see how I'm affected by the medicine and um, during this time I have to you know watch my weight watch my diet uh, watch my blood pressure and then follow up with her and she says it's like almost like a guessing game you she has to play with the milligrams and stuff like that so I'm anxious to see how it's going to help me how it's gonna help me <laughs> it's just crazy it's just crazy and I want to say I had another teacher who worked next door to me and she knew I said sometimes my brain just feels like it's going and I and I then I start like anxiety because I'm like oh my god can I do it it's just weird I don't know how to explain it and um she understood what I was going through so she would help me a lot and I do want to say um um, the English lead, Dawn, I, just, I, I don't know what her thing is. They call them something else at my school, but you guys will probably know as the English, the, the English department lead. And um, she, I don't know if she realizes um, the little things she has done for me, how much um, they have helped me. Like she'll take something off my plate or she'll help me do X, Y, and Z. And it's not because... Um, I can't do those things, but sometimes I get, that is harder for me to do. And, you know, I really appreciate that from her. Oh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting teary eyed because when you're going through something up here and people may not see it, you know, I may be behind, I'm behind on some stuff at work that it'll start to affect a lot of parts of your life. But no one understands because they just, well, just do it. 
and it's not as easy for me. And a nurse, you know, I explained to her when I was doing blood work or whatever. And she said, well, you have to call this. You have to call that person. Then you have to do this. And then she looked at me. I Maybe she saw the anxiety. She said, I'll do it for you. And I'll let you know when it's done. And just little things like that is so helpful. <laughs> I mean, it, all, it even goes down to finances. Just little things. Anyway. So I just want to document to see. And I'm hoping that, you know that it does help and you know being a creative spirit my brain is always going always going and sometimes it just doesn't stop and so it's going to be nice to see what this journey leads to and how it maybe unfolds and calm certain things down so I can accomplish the small things which are like mountains for me and different people are affected by ADHD and ADD and sometimes it's like a nightmare that we're living inside that no one sees so with that said um today is gonna be day one of me taking the medicine um so I'll see and I wanted to wait for a weekend to take it because I'm I want to see how my body reacts and that's what the doctor wanted me to do too she says wait to the weekend and see how my body reacts to it and we'll you know start a baseline from there so I just wanted to document this moment of me trying to get control of my life and people who may have depression schizophrenia bipolar disorder and whatever whatever other kind of disorders there are I see you I understand and when you're living in that darkness it's hard for other people to understand but I'm also a big supporter of getting help for yourself not everybody may agree with medicine they want to do um you know, the herbal type things, natural remedies, and that is okay too. You wanna do what's best for you. And so I'm of the the belief, take your tail to the doctor. There's no reason for you to live in darkness. There's no reason to live in darkness. If there's something that could possibly help you, you know, it may take trial and error. You may wanna try a few options, but for me, it was hard even just making this appointment. It took me years to make this appointment. And when I finally made an appointment, I broke down and cried with the doctor. I said, because nobody understands. And she says, I understand, but I can't give you prescription until you get this testing. And, um, and it just validated what I have been living. So if you're out there and you have this darkness that surrounds you that you can't help, go get some help go get, even if you're depressed and you have suicidal thoughts or whatever it is for you don't go through it by yourself so that's all i want to share so let me open my prescription and see and i'm not and i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be ashamed um of what I live with. It is what it is. I mean, like, what is it a high? I mean, um, it is what it is. So I'm trying to help myself. And some people may say, well, why don't you just do it? I was like, I wish I could. It's almost like a blockage that causes me not to be able to do it. There are some things I can do and there are a lot of things that I can't do. It's weird, it's weird. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to say what the pill, what the medication is, because I don't want to promote anything for anybody, but I did get the um, generic brand. So it was generic because if I was to pay for the prescription, because my health plan won't pay until they get the pre-authorization from my doctor. I don't know if this is something that works right away or it takes you need time to build it up in your body. No, I don't think it needs to build up in the body because the doctor said it may wear off. And I was like, oh, it's not a gradual release. She says, no, we can try that later, but let's see how I have the lowest dosage and just to see. And then she'll 
then she said well no if we need to increase it a little decrease so today's day one and we'll see if <laughs> this foggy cloud in my brain <laughs> um opens up to even more sunshine and joy well i hope you guys are having a blessed day i don't want to i'm trying to look at the time and i'm on my phone i hope you guys are having a blessed day and i will keep you updated um on this journey of trying to become a better me and that's all i want to do and that's what i hope you want to do become a better person even how you treat other people how you receive other people and think about how your reactions um may affect others that's just my psa announcement <laughs> i love you and um i want to thank all you guys my fave five for always being there for me and um through my highs and lows i know my channel is not very very exciting and what most people want to see but it's me and i can only be me bye y'all